All right, everybody, so finally here, did the two videos that um, I was planning on making for the Series X with the unboxing and then the setup video and everything. Well, here we are. Um, I'm currently almost done transferring games to the internal SSD. The last game I have to transfer is Final Fantasy XIII um, because still need to finish that playthrough for the gaming channel, but yeah. So basically the OS is virtually the same as the um, Xbox One X or Xbox Ones, which isn't necessarily that bad because at the very least I'm familiar a lot with how shit works. So here are the games I currently have on the Xbox Series X. Um, and yeah, and we're gonna test out a several of these, most of these games, uh, I should say. Um, mainly for load time purposes as well as frame rates and everything. Gonna give you guys some gameplay of some of the games. Um, right. Oh, that usually takes like 30 seconds to a minute on. God damn it. Oh, Fortnite needs an update. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so while Fortnite updates, uh, let's try another online game. I think Rocket League also needs a uh, an update. But also, I haven't loaded any games onto this yet. Or at least played them, so. Oh man, that is fast. That is fast as all hell. And yeah, I do have the DeLorean DLC from 2015. Um, so that's actually not that bad. Uh, this is an always online game, I think. Uh, let me uh, have this update now. Um, <laughs> I just gotta download the entire thing. God damn it! But you know, whatever. Um, so that was Rocket League. Now, um, let's try Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5. As I know, some people definitely... I have been wanting to test out the Kingdom Hearts games. Mostly Kingdom Hearts 3 and 0 0.2. Um, and, yeah. I forgot that the volume of the TV was really loud. Amiibos film. But, um, plug in. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. like, right, you can play this game on Xbox if you have Game Pass right now. Yeah, that's about the same load times. Uh, load times on the, or in the Kingdom Hearts games on PS4 and Xbox One were generally really good, so yeah, that maybe was like a second faster than it usually is on it, but... Yeah, feels about as smooth as it should. Um, honestly. Maybe a little smoother, but yeah, the Kingdom Hearts games uh, run pretty well. On... Um, on the PS4 and Xbox One. In terms of load times, they're pretty good, because of the internal, S or the internal hard drives and shit. Um... So, yeah, and they were... 
able to really do that. So yeah, um, I haven't gotten too far in Kingdom Hearts 2, but let's load up this save really quick. I want to test out dry forms. Like, I think I only have like two dry forms, maybe, in the save file I've done so far for two. When I get the PS5, I'll definitely test out these games as well on PS5. Um, yeah, that wasn't... <laughs> Oh yeah, that's slightly faster on... That's slightly faster on Series X. And you gotta remember the Xbox One port... The Xbox One port of, um... Of these games, um... Were not really that well optimized for the system in some areas. Um... Just to say that. It is true, um, but uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 is the most well-optimized game out of all of them, I feel, for 1.5 plus 2.5. Um, yeah, that is like slightly faster because of the SSD. That is slightly faster. It's not too terribly fast. That is roughly the same, so... Uh... So yeah, that's basically the same. Uh... Let's go back here. Load up Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Come on. It's got to load it up because it doesn't really have any. It doesn't really have a cache for the games yet. Okay, that took a little bit to load it up, but it's actually actually loaded in pretty fast. I can't really play any of the games right now. I do plan on doing a 0 0.2 run uh, later. Um, but I'm mainly... I'm mainly running this. Let's load up the menu for 0 0.2, because 0 0.2 on Xbox One X and PS4 Pro runs at an unlocked frame rate. Um, and so do the menus, I believe. And also, they're like... They're, um, they're anti-alias, or they're alias the fuck. Because Square Enix doesn't know the meaning of the term aliasing. Or anti-aliasing. Okay, that doesn't look too, too different to me. Okay. I don't even know if the... I don't know if the title screen runs at a complete 60 frames per second on Xbox One X or PS4 Pro. Or even just regular PS4 or Xbox One. I don't know if anyone's really tested that. But this does look a good 60 frames per second. And I've only seen it in 30, because I've only played it in 30 on the PS4. Uh, I'm really surprised that they didn't have a... Uh, um, uh, what was I going to say? I'm really surprised they didn't add a toggle option for the... Uh, 
frame rate for the enhanced version of the game. Uh, okay, now we're getting into the big stuff. Um, first, gonna load up Final Fantasy 15. And for some reason, the Xbox versions of these games have, like, press A on them, whereas the PS versions don't. And I don't know if the PC versions do, and I don't know if the Switch versions of the games that are on the Switch do or not. I think that is shorter to load on this already. Load a game... I'm pretty sure I did. Hold on. Let me check. <sighs> I'm sorry if this is not going swimmingly. Ready to install. Okay, so I think it was just giving me that warning, uh, just in case. So let's see how... Holy shit, that is quick. Uh, new content can be accessed after visiting the title screen. Alright, because that's... I, I had to transfer all the DLC. But, uh, huh. Finally! 60 frames per second. Dude! Like, I have videos currently, <coughs> like, I uploaded them, they're currently waiting to publish to my gaming channel of me, uh, like, grinding levels in this game. Which, as you guys can see, I did get to level 120 for this game. This is a complete 60 frames per second. Even with my shitty eyes and my TV, this is 60 frames per second. I already had it loaded on um, the light mode. And holy god, this is 60 frames per second. Like, I've seen... Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna test something really quick in terms of Greetings. the... Greetings! Uh, Will you be staying with us? In terms of um, what I can do for the frame rate to see if it'll dip at any point. Um, but this is 60 frames per second, and it's a full 1080p. I think on Xbox One X, it is 1080p. Um, when you enter the light mode, it is 1080p. It drops a little bit in terms of fidelity to maintain these 60 frames per second. As, like... Oh, man, this just feels excellent. Holy fuck, dude. Like, I was literally playing this two nights ago. On my Xbox One X, and holy... Oh, man. Oh, this just feels too good. Holy shit. Okay, so... I'm gonna test this out real quick. Um, to see if this'll... This'll tank the frame rate at all. Cause I'm pretty sure it did on Xbox One. Sid's friends, was it? Take your pick. You boys are um, a brave bunch. This already looks better on my 1080p TV than it did on Xbox One Make X. Make sure y'all go prepared. Like, this has a good amount of anti-aliasing, I think, applied as well. 
and the fact that 60 frames per second doubling the f amount of frames it helps mp420 plays it okay um do i have enough ethers 94 i'm gonna just buy some real quick oh my god this is so this is already so much fucking better Dude. Dude. Oh, man. Part of this might, in a little bit, be muted, unfortunately, because... Uh... YouTube's fucking copyright system. So sorry. And there's, there is screen tearing in the Xbox One X version too, but there's no screen tearing here. And everything just feels good. It feels so much, it looks so much better too. Like, you do notice shit like frame rate. When I had to deal with fucking 40 to 50 frames at most, Oh my god, this this is so good. And the fact that it's it's a consistent 60 frames also brings out the beauty of the uh, animation. Which is one of the reasons why I thought that this would maybe tank the frame rate is it's the Adamant voice. Oh, I don't have the DLC installed. The DLC didn't install, right? So it wasn't like the, uh, the Ragnarok sword wasn't set by default. Oh, and Prompto and Gladio. Prompto doesn't have his winter outfit on. So far, this is maintaining a 60 frames per second frame rate. Our best still isn't good enough. With that attitude, it isn't. Sometimes this takes a bit, sorry.
I did not see a frame drop that entire time. That was what, five minutes? Let's celebrate by eating something dead! <sighs> we actually did it! Piece of cake, huh? <laughs> After an infinite regression, we arrived at an answer. The turtles all the way down. This shit took me way too Let's long go. to grind out, but I'm glad I did before the Series X came out. Like at the same time. Feels good for it not to be fucking stuttering at not even 50 frames per second. Oh, catch your breath. Thanks for the ride. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. Hmm. Boys eating your fill. Y'all did good. Yeah, this game is still anti-alias to fuck in a, in several places, unfortunately. What can I do you for? Alright. Turn a title. Yes. I don't need I don't need to save there, because like didn't really get me anything but Gil. Experience points I can't use because I don't need them. And probably some things that the turtle dropped. Um, See where's Prompto. Okay, yeah. There's Gladio, there's Ignis, where's Prompto? There he is. Okay, so yeah, this is now in 60 frames per second. Holy god, dude. Uh, let me, let me see, options, I hate how you can only navigate this shit with a d-pad, let's, let me show you guys what six, holy fuck, oh my god, this is 30 frames per second, oh, hold on a sec, I was hoping to get a picture or two around here, let's check it out, yeah, let's go! Oh my god, and there's anti-aliasing. Holy shit. Oh my god, this... Ugh. It looks like it's trying to double the frame. Holy god. Ugh. Fuck that. And unlike Spider-Man, it doesn't need to reload the fucking checkpoint. 
uh, Spider-Man, the remaster of the 2018 Spider-Man game and the, um, and Miles Morales when you switch between the high fidelity and high frame rate modes. Um, they're going to, uh, reload the checkpoints. I saw that on Jacksepticeye's stream for the remaster of the first game. Uh, the first one that he did, the day before I'm recording this. Um, oh man, buttery smooth fucking 60 frames per second. Yes, thank you. Uh, let me... Okay, so that's enough of that. And the one I think everybody has been waiting for me to try, maybe? Oh, Fortnite is upgrading. Right. Fortnite got a an Xbox Series X version. It's also getting a PS5 version. Rocket League is also getting similar shit. Um, I assume Sea of Thieves is as well. Or no, Rocket League will. I think it will. Um, it is going to get upgrades for Series X and PS5. Uh, for 4K 60 modes. Um, maybe some other modes as well. Uh, sea of Thieves also got upgraded for 4K 60. Uh, Fortnite, I assume, is just up to 120 frames per second. Um, if you have a TV or a monitor that can go to 120. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that gets, uh, tested by people like the people at Digital Foundry. We're going to Kingdom Hearts 3. So yeah, uh, Final Fantasy XV being in, uh, Um, so this probably will load, hopefully. Um, okay. Okay, load. How fast is this gonna load in comparison to Final Fantasy XV, a game that came out three year, almost three years before it, or like a little bit over two? Um, that loaded insanely quickly. Good. Oh yeah, dude, this is this is a full sixty. I can fucking tell. Dude, and Sora glides faster. Sora glides faster at six at a full 60 frames per second. What the fuck? Why are there invisible walls up on top of these buildings? This might be a good spot to find some ingredients. Yes. Yes, dude. Holy. Yes. This already feels better from what I remember. Like, I have more. I have more, um, experience playing, um, on the PS4 version than Xbox, but even on that One X, it struggled to get to a full 60 frames per second. Um, alright, where should we go? That's uh, Twilight Town. Uh, Kingdom of Corona. Um, Olympus. Toy box. Uh, hold on. Let's try Olympus. Cause I personally, and yeah, and these menus are a full 1080p 60, with n not a lot of anti-aliasing at all. On the One X, there was also uh, a lack of proper anti-aliasing at some points. Oh, 
Oh, that's so good that it loads faster. Oh boy, let's go! Yeah, I think Sora's overall movement, at least when he's gliding, is tied to frame rate. I think it's tied to frame rate. Um, because he didn't fly that, he didn't glide that flat, that fast. And this isn't this isn't optimized for Series X, by the way, or PS5, unfortunately. I don't know if Square's gonna release a patch for that. I hope they do. Right. Let's use this battle gate as a good testing ground for how it handles arenas with wait, large arenas with enemies. Some of the enemies, unfortunately, got 60 frames or 30 frames per second. Like, I'm sure you can, like, look up my old videos and see for this playthrough specifically. And even if you have more playthroughs, you can see how... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a frame rate drop. I can't wait for someone to be able to keep a digital boundary to analyze this. This already feels so much better. And it doesn't look unevenly frame based at all. I'm gonna play a, I'm gonna play one, one or two of the cutscenes as well. Um, Over here! Just... Here goes! No, uh, already been. Uh, after I test out some more areas, to see how we can get to the I'll show you how a hero fights! Hero hardware. I got you. How they deal with the hero hardware. This feels just yeah. so good. On PS5, I might just challenge you as a lot of <laughs> Looks like Biorox is just gonna have to redo his videos with 60 with actual 60 frames per second gameplay when he gets a PS5. <laughs> and that's also the thing, Char I5, when he does the everything on, wrong with Kingdom Hearts videos, um I personally think he should redo like re-edit them with footage from the PS4 or Xbox One versions of the games, because he did those when they were just the PS3 versions, and holy sh... Most of those do not hold up visually, because they're either anti alias to fuck, or they're not 1080p. Like, they're upscaled to 1080p. And he, he artificially doubled the frame rate with his, uh... with his, um... his editing software. If he was the one to edit them. Whoever put them together if it wasn't him did that. Alright, there's one world I definitely want to see about. Because it's the worst performing world on the Xbox One and PS4 Pro versions of the game. The Caribbean. And that's because it has a more realistic art style, it's more populated by realistic looking people, um, the world looks more realistic to um, have it. Oh boy, let's go! Dude, this is 60 frames per second. They got lots of cargo to sort out. It like, this is 60 frames per second. Dude, there's still pop-in issues, unfortunately, but I think that was a problem in the original game. I just didn't notice it. So I was too focused on it. This is 60 frames per second. This is 60 frames per second. Nice. Nice moves. Dude, this is so good. They got oh lots my of god. Cargo to sort out. This is so good. So to finally down. have this in a good frame rate. They got lots of cargo uh, to sort out. Hold on. Uh config. Let me test this out, because um this is also a thing. Uh, the stable mode is a 30 frames per second cap that is unfortunately unevenly frame paced. Oh, 
Oh, fucking hell. Holy shit, that is unevenly frame paced. It looks like it, at least. Oh my god. Square Enix, come on, guys. Oh man, this game was... It's clear that this game was not designed to be played with that shit. Oh. Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, that is so much better. Granted, it may be the jarringness of having helping the frame rate. But Ooh. Yeah, this just this looks and feels so much better. It now matches the HD remasters of the earlier games. It now, it does. It legitimately does. It matches the HD remasters of the, of the, of the uh, earlier games. Those, those are the consistent 60 frames on PS4 and Xbox One, I believe. Like, on base PS4, those were really good in terms of frame rate, so... Okay. Let's fly. Oh, this just this feels and looks so good. And this isn't even like optimized for Series X. Like, it is that good. Jarring effect again, I just want to just show you guys. Oh yeah, this is this is still unevenly frame paced the fuck, even if it does hit a consistent 30 frames per second. Ugh, the juddering. The juddering keeps happening every so often, like you can see it. Like, you can see it every so often. I think when it has to load at least a little bit of something. It is unevenly frame paced, this game, in 30 frames per second. And on PS4 Pro, the best you could do at, on PS4 Pro was uh, limit it to 1080p and um, and disable super sampling. The Xbox One X, you couldn't disable super sampling. So while it had the better frame rate, than, or a better consistent frame rate than, PS, than base PS4, um, you couldn't get it up to a full 60, unlike PS4 Pro. Uh, but even then, PS4 Pro wasn't a uh, consistent 60. So the It's over. That doesn't drop frames. Yes. I'm also coming off of the PS4 version because it's the one I played the most recently. Because I did the DLC for it, or I finished the DLC for the data battles and then the battle with Yazora. Yeah, it looks like Sora's glide speed is tied to the frame rate. Because I don't remember it being that fast. And he get There's a glitch that happens in the game that he, he like has super glide in the game, but he doesn't have it unless you switch keyblades as soon as he starts gliding. Oh, this is so good. This is so fucking good. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the better hardware in Microsoft. Jesus. Like, this game did come out like a uh, almost two years before um, this shit. Alright, let's try a different area. Um, uh, Forsaken Isle first, I think. I don't know if I'm remembering this right. It looks so much better when there's no fucking aliasing. Or not. And when there's less aliasing. Uh, okay, that was 
not where I was thinking it was, but no matter. And the, the load times are so much better. Like, not that this game necessarily had bad load times, but... I don't know. I want to test out, uh, I want to test out the different keyblades in terms of the form changes. Uh, although I can't really do that right now because I don't have Oblivion to give me dark form. I need to play the, I need to play critical mode to do that. <laughs> Nice, that's a good deal. I've never I've never seen that before. Are there are any King Hearts YouTubers that are gonna use my footage, um go ahead, just give me credit. <laughs> if you don't have if you don't have an Xbox or a PS5 to record your own footage and you wanna get a video out early before the PS5 ships the public, um go ahead. Take this! And Nick, the username is pronounced Shigs, like S H I G S. Not spelled that way, I know. I'm gonna give you guys good footage, so. Dude, I really wish that, like, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD collection was backwards compatible. Oh, yeah. shit. Uh, cuz... That would be great. Um... But seriously, this... This world, even though the frame rate wasn't great in the original release, or on the original hardware, this world didn't take the frame rate, unfortunately. Go get but seriously, I love this so much. This now holds up as, like, in terms of frame rate, it holds up with the yeah. HD remaster of the past games. It's over. And 0 0.2. 0 0.2. 0 0 0 0 I have to play 0 0.2. After doing this video. I have to. Where are you? Like, this is what people were expecting, I think, when people were still hyping this game up. Like, the King of Hearts YouTubers, I think, um, I think this is what they expected in terms of the 60 frames per second for this game. Because, um, the original hardware would not do that. <laughs> Square, Square Enix. Matsura. Take a gander. Uh, is, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Um. Legitimately did not run well on the original hardware. Uh, let's go to. Let's go to the fort.
Um... Okay, equipment, Sora. I already tested out Oathkeeper. Um... What would be a good one to... Ah, let's do Nano Gear. I already did the Ultima Weapon. Uh... Classic tone. Why not? I knew Digital Foundry wasn't going to be interested necessarily in trying this out, but I, I can't wait for them to do their analysis because this is a this is a genuine 60 frames per second. And if one of their people, one of the people that worked for them, got far enough in Kingdom Hearts 3 to get to the Caribbean, um, and they shot footage and tested it out um, for their own like frame rate graph analyses and shit. I would love to see what the maximum frame rate of this. We got this. Oh, I, I love this team that is a natural extension of the one from Kingdom Hearts 2. The uh, golden. I love that they just went back to do that as a continuity reference to Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, but yeah, maybe there's some hitches and stutters here and there in this world, but they're not numerous. And that's the best thing. They're not numerous. I think I noticed one, but that was like the first one I noticed, if there is any others. Okay. It's good checking out Port Royal. Uh, okay, Fortnite's still upgrading. Uh, I guess I'll do a part two when that finishes downloading. Um, but first, let's go to San Francisco. Ah, uh, this is good, because this, this uh, the districts have a day and night mode in this game. That's good. Fellows! Um. This feels like it's 60, it doesn't, like, this is a huge area, so, but this feels 60? It's definitely not, like, below 55, or maybe, like, 58 or 59. Uh, where is a battle gate? Huh. 
do, just just the view, my guy. Holy shit. You better stay downtown. <laughs> you could get lost. This is genuinely beautiful. Now that I can ap further appreciate it. Because the game already did look great. Just didn't run that well. Like the devs were expecting or wanting. Uh, where's the... I need to find Battle Gates, dude. Or do the bat... Are the Battle Gates only appearing at night in this? Yeah! Oh, there it is. Battle gets only set at night. That's kind of dull. Classic tone. Uh, let's use crystal snow. Because why not? Um, yeah. Yeah. 
city's even more beautiful at night. Nice. This is some really good, like... This is some really good design work. Real, realistically, right here. For this entire cityscape. This is just so fucking good. Alright, coming up on the... Save points... Where would be a good place to... a good last place? Oh yeah, yeah, right, right. Right, right, shot locks. I'll do one of those. Um, yeah, I'll do a shot lock.
So yeah, this is beefed up to like pretty much damn near 60 frames per second, if not 60 frames per second. Um. I wanna. I wanna get that sh that uh that thing though. Oh, let's, let's try out here. Um, does this have... The fire's been out for a while. The train might come in handy if we need to get back up. Yeah! can I test? You know, we have you guys to thank for saving the company. Couldn't ask for better friends. Yeah, I must find the stake.
this kind of tanks the frame rate as well. You better have died. <laughs> Xbox One X is better hardware of the Series X. They're working in tandem and it's it's so good. Be a good spot to find some ingredients. Alright. Let's do Kingdom of Corona. I know it's going over an hour, but Fuck it. Um, Twilight Town. Um, I need to think, what are cutscenes in this game that might be, like, primary intensive? Oh man, this is so fucking good! Yes. Ooh, links. I completely forgot about fucking links. Yes, take this! Well, this Yeah! 
Slipping and slight, man. Shit. Did I get turned around? I got turned around. Give me strength! 
vibrant colors of this shit. Like, holy damn, does this look good. Did I get turned around again? I hate how I can't bring out the fucking map. Like, Final Fantasy VII Remake did that right, with you being able to bring out the here and continue in the next one.